Hi there, and thanks for joining me. It's Lisa from Critters and Ink Designs. Today, I'm going to do my first kit video. And, um, you know, so bear with me. I, I've been buying kits all along and never have had time really to um, put one together. So I've been stockpiling them. And I thought right now, while there's such a good deal on uh, during the month of June, you still have another couple of days. Um, to purchase your kits uh, during the month of June if you buy one you pay regular price but if you buy two Stampin' Up! will automatically take the most expensive one and cut the price in half so it's buy one and get one half price so this one we're doing is called the Christmas Whimsy card kit keep in mind when you're ordering your kits that they're only in stock while they're in stock so if you order something and it comes up, the number comes up not available, you know, plan to have a second kit uh, number, part number available that you think that you would like um, for your half price. Okay, so when you order a kit, everything you need to do the kit is included. So I'm going to open this up. As I say, I have not done a kit yet and you should see my storage closet oh there's so many uh, same with my paper pumpkins I rarely have time to do a paper pumpkin but my New Year's June July resolution a little late but whatever uh, is to slowly go through all of my paper pumpkins and get those little suckers done and um, empty out my closet so that I, you know I have room to order more because you know we all need more so what I have in here let's just see um, it tells you let's see let's see so it contains supplies for eight cards and eight envelopes so let's go through and see what we have so we have these gold uh, they're basic white with gold trim envelopes and we have one, two, three, four of this landscape and four of this Christmas tree. And then in here, we also have some labels and some ovals, little gold stars, and some really cute punch outs that will go on the front of our cards. Now, when you order a kit, you do get everything that you need. So it's completely inclusive. So you get a block. So if you or every time you order a, a kit that has stamping in it, you'll receive a block, an ink spot, and some exclusive little uh, photopolymer stamps. So in this kit, there's also some little snowflake sequins. Good grief, they're cute and some uh, glue dots and some mini little dimensionals. So let's grab the instructions and um, Sarah Douglas who is the CEO and the daughter of one of the founders of Stampin' Up! She, when I watch her videos she sorts out everything and she gets her, her um, cards in in a row so that she knows exactly what goes with what card so we're going to try that today let's see how that works for me so for the first card we need one of these landscape um, backgrounds and we need the little elf pulling the sleigh so let's punch her out This is so cute. And we need this other little elf. Come on, Elfie, out you go. And some snowflakes. And one of the tags.
and the Stampin' Spot and a Block, and Merriest Christmas to You. So each, each card has its directions and it's very specific. So you need glue dots, dimensionals, stamps. So we're gonna need the snow stamp and the Merriest Christmas to You, some gold twine, and so it tells you exactly what you need. Plus, we need a gold-sided envelope. So that's card number one. So let's go ahead and do that one. So I'm going to, uh, which one do I want? I think the smaller, there's two snowflake um, stamps. So we're gonna take the smaller one. And the merriest Christmas to you. So we'll put that here for when we need it. Now, if I was gonna be doing this at home, I probably would keep my stamp and spot for traveling. And as it happens, I am traveling. I'm at my daughter's babysitting, well, helping babysit. Her husband's at work all day. And um, I'm doing um, daycare patrol uh, while he's at work. So I brought a few things with me in the event that I had some time and this afternoon I actually do have a couple of hours so I'm gonna try and get this done and posted before I have to go and pick the kids up at daycare. All right so for the first card let's see so card number one we want to take our snowflakes and we're gonna just stamp in blue all over the front of the card. Okay, so I'm going to ink it up. I just wanted to make sure I'm using the, the right um, snowflake because there are two. Yeah, so this, um, promotion for for June ends on June is 31st the end of the month I'm not even sure but it's only good for the month of June and then on July 1st the new catalog is launching so if you don't have um, a demonstrator and you'd like a copy of the new catalogs please let me know. I'd be more than happy to put one in your hot little hands. And um, as long as you live in Canada, I can, I can work with you. And if you're local, I do hold classes locally and would love for you to attend if you would like to. And I'm just gonna stick a couple right there. So cute, okay. So that one's done. I'm going to bring my chamois over. Now I did bring my chamois. Um, obviously it doesn't come with the kit, but once you get stamping, you can use a damp cloth or a baby wipe. I don't love baby wipes because some of them do leave um, lint in your stamps if you have a stamp that has a fair amount of detail. So, oh, what did I do with my directions? Here they are. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, so number two is we're going to place our little elves. So I'm gonna flip them over and it tells me here where to put the dimensionals. So let me grab my dimensionals. This is so cute. Okay. If I can get that on her head without it showing. Yep, okay. So she's gonna go here. And then this other little. Oh, you know what, I forgot to take the back. I don't know where my brain is at. I forgot to take the backing off. 
the sled. And apparently the elf, okay. I've been away from making videos for such a long time with COVID. We had a fabric store and we were so busy during COVID. And then after COVID, um, I also do long arm quilting and I was swamped with quilts. So I really didn't do much in the way of stamping, which is unfortunate. But now that I've, we've closed our store, we've decided to retire. So I'm semi-retired because I'm doing this now. And then, um, so I'm, I'm trying to get my feet wet to get back into doing more videos. I did post a video last week, um, so if you'd like to check it out, uh, just check out my YouTube channel. So now on our little tag, we're going to stamp Merriest Christmas to You. Now what I didn't do, which I typically do do, do do, um, when I get new photopolymer stamps is I give them all a really good wash because sometimes there's like, you feel like there's a little bit of um, a residue from when it was manufactured. Okay, so now it says here, take three inches of the gold twine. So, one, two, three. Oh, and what I wanna show you is on your um, instruction sheet, there's actually a ruler right across the bottom. So I can go, starts here, one, or zero, I mean. So it goes inches to the left and centimeters to the right. So I'm gonna go um, three inches is about there. And I'm just going to put this through here, a little hole, and tie it in a knot. I think I'm going to do it like this. It doesn't show it like this in the picture, but I'm going to just put a loop through the hole of the, of the little tag and pull it through like this. There, and I'm going to put a couple of of um, glue dots on this. Oh, you know what? It stuck to my finger. There we are. Okay. And then this is going to go here. And the tag is going to go... I'm just going to stick it in behind. Here, I'm going to put a glue dot on it. It doesn't ask for that, but I'm going to pop a glue dot onto here. And I'm just going to roll it up and stick the glue dot behind this present at the top. And then I'm going to just push the little twines to the back and into the glue dot. There. That is so cute. Okay, so now we're gonna add some of the little snowflakes, which I put somewhere safe and now I can't find them. I lost them, oh no. Am I looking right at them? Probably. Isn't that funny? Oh my God, look at, they're right here, right in my face, okay. So I'm going to take a few of these 
And it says to take five of the snowflake ones. So one, two, three, four, five of the snowflakes. And we're just going to put them around, oops, we're just going to put them around in the snow. Okay, so because I have artificial nails, they're very thick, I'm gonna use my take a picture. But if you have nice thin nails, you can go ahead. And I'm just laying it on top of some of the snowflakes that we stamped earlier. This is adorable. Boy, I'm really gonna have to dig up my kits and get at it. These are so stinking cute. One more. Oops. There you are. There, we'll pop them right there. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? And that, okay, so that's card number one. So we're gonna pop that over there. And I'm just gonna clean this stamp. Put it back here. Okay, I'm gonna put these right back in my face so you know I can lose them again when we're doing it. Now the next card is this snow tree card, it's a Christmas tree card. So I'm going to take the bigger of the star stamps. Okay, pop it on my block there. And it shows just some stars along the top here. So this is what we're gonna Go ahead and stamp that. I guess I should grab a tree base. Okay, you know what, let's figure out what we need for this card first. So here's my card base. And I need this little girl here, putting the star on top of the tree. And there we are. And what else do we need? We need one gold star, and we're going to put the gold star on top of this gold star that's in her hand. Other than a bit of twine and some of the stars here, this is all we need. Okay, so let's go ahead and ink up the stamp. These kits are great for, as I say, traveling. That's why I brought it with me because I'm a few hours from home. I wasn't sure how much time I'd have, so uh, I brought just a few things with me just in case I did have some time, and I'm glad that I did. Um, it's so hot. It's about 36 um, centigrade, which is about it's in the high, it's in the mid to high 90s uh, here today. And um, I could go sit by the pool, I guess, but I'm not a heat person and I'm not a sun worshiper. I figure I've made it almost 70 years without. Um, burning my face and can probably go for another 70 without burning my face okay so I'm just gonna put a few you know what I'm gonna just be careful I don't get any on the back I don't want to get it on the backing here get some there them there all right and so now we're going to put some dimensionals on the elf which I'm going to use my take a bit tool that just works better for me if you don't have a take a tick pick tool and you're um, trying to figure out what the best tools are for 
uh, getting started, I highly recommend the Take a Pick tool. It has four um, interchangeable ends. And I don't believe I brought the other ones, but on this one, you've got a little spatula. And on this end, it's a, like a pick, a tip, the Take a Pick, right? It's your pick. And then there's another one that's got a scoring tool, so it's got a, a little fatter ball on one side and a smaller ball on the other for scoring paper. And then on this end, we have a putty and that picks up rhinestones and stars. Like I can grab this star right here and it just picks it right up, okay? Great, great, great investment. And they're not crazy expensive either. In fact, I have, I have two of them and I can't live without them. Okay, so we've got a couple more dimensionals to put on here. See if I can squeeze that on there without getting it into the cutout part. There we go. All right. I'm going to pop out this little piece that's stuck on the dimensional. And this time, we'll remember to take the backings off of the dimensionals. So there we go. Okay, and we're going to set her up over here. So that she's reaching over to put the star on the um, top of the tree. Okay, and then I'm going to take, it says eight inches of twine. So I've got my, my grid paper here. Now this is the paper pumpkin grid paper, which you can buy uh, online. In, in my store and you can also get the regular grid paper that I use on a regular basis okay so this is going to go here but first I want to stamp my oval yeah so much for getting everything ready like I said I was going to at the beginning <laughs> okay so we're going to clean the stars and swap out the stamp for season's greetings. Okay, I'm gonna give that a little wash. Again, you don't have to, it's just a habit I've gotten into. Make sure it's dry and I'm gonna ink it up. Now this is photopolymer, and I should have, oh, here it is a silicone mount. I'm gonna stick that underneath. When you're dealing with photopolymer stamps, you should have um, a soft uh, layer underneath your paper, and I'm, I'm on granite here. So I stuck my silicone mat underneath here, and you can see it's, I'm getting a way better stamp. So I'm gonna move that up, and I'm going to put my little oval right on the silicone mat. So let's redo that onto the oval. That looks pretty good. Okay. This one didn't stamp the grid. I don't think I like that. I'm going to do another one. You get lots of them, so rather than be unhappy with it later, if I just let it go, I'd rather redo it. There. There. Way better much happier with that. So I'm going to let it dry for a minute and I'm going to put a couple of glue dots onto the back here so that I can stick my twine in there. 
We'll put one here. One over here. Can you see me okay? Yeah. And my twine that I cut is here. So I'm just going to kind of make like loops with it. Set them. I don't know what it is in me and the backings here today, so I'm going to take the backings off of our little dots and we're going to stick these into the little glue dots. I'm making this way more difficult than it needs to be here. There. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, now I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on there. One on the top here. One on the bottom okay and then we're just gonna put that right there okay so next we're going to take oh my god that's cute next we're going to take some of these stars and we're going to place them around the card. And it says on the instructions to take five cards. Five cards, five stars. So that's four, one more. Where will we put this guy? Let's stick him over here. There, we have our two cards here. Isn't that cute? So you have enough, uh, enough supplies to make four of each. And they come with the matching envelopes. So I always decorate my envelopes. So what we could do is take, take the star, um, the star stamp that we had before, and just ink it up. Looks pretty good. And then just stick it in the corner here. There. We can actually do that on both of them. So let me grab another envelope and we'll do the one, that for the second one as well. Oops. And then for the inside, I was just thinking we didn't do anything on the inside. Um, Let's clean these. On the inside, there is a larger stamp that says, wishing you peace, joy, and love now and throughout the coming year. So we're gonna put that on the inside. So let's put these two back on here. And you know, just because your kit is, when you finish your kit, just because it's done, I mean, obviously you can use these um, stamps over and over. So I'm gonna flip this over. I don't want it to distort when I put it in my block. So I'm gonna turn, because it's such a wide um, stamp, I'm turning my block on a diagonal like this, and I'm gonna pick it up. And I'm gonna bring back my cards. And 
I'm going to put my silicone mat right under my red banner here so that I know where it is. I'm going to ink up this stamp. On my desk at home, I have a, a neoprene, um, it's like a huge place mat and it's neoprene so it gives me all the sponge that I need for the photopolymer stamps and I always forget because I don't I don't actually need to think about it because it's always on my desk and then here I am good thing I brought a silicone mat because I wouldn't be getting a very good stamp without it so the difference between the photopolymer and the red rubber is that the red rubber stamps have the spongy stuff built right in okay so I'm gonna center that and make sure that I'm square Hopefully that's square. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the other one. I have a customer who, she says for the life of her, can't stamp straight. So she puts all of her sentiments on a 45 degree angle and then it's a no-brainer. Nobody knows whether it's supposed to be, this is looking kind of, no, it's okay. Um, she says she does it that way and nobody uh, is any wiser that she has issues um, stamping straight. And one of the reasons I put most of my sentiments on a diagonal on my block is that then I'm not competing with the edges of the block to try and make sure that it's square because sometimes I have a terrible time um, trying to stamp straight if I have my block in the same sort of direction as my stamp. It just doesn't work for me. Okay, so here we go. Make sure I'm on my mat there. Beautiful, okay. So there's our two cards and I think I will uh, complete the rest of them. Well, some of my Christmas cards are ready to go. Thanks so much for spending some time with me this afternoon, and I hope to see you when I dig out the rest of my kits, and let's get kidding. So don't forget, for the month of June, if you buy one, you get a second one for half price, and Stampin' Up! automatically takes the most expensive one and puts that one at half price. So shop away. You can um, shop for kits at crittersandink.com. And uh, if you have any questions, by all means, get in touch with me at crittersandink at gmail.com. Thanks again. Have a super afternoon. Bye for now.